Hey, 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 you trader nerds. It is me. It is Sweet Bobby, the world's worst trader. But I ain't as bad as I used to be. And uh, thank you all for uh, being with us. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Charles, for the good luck for the uh, state championship tonight. And it's weird, y'all. Uh, the opposing team, one of their players is dead over the weekend. He was missing. And now like, he's been found dead. Uh, I'm I mean, I'm I'm thinking foul play or something. It's just weird, y'all. And it's like uh, I feel bad for the other team, but at the same time, um, what do you do? You know, people dead around here. We got all kind of stuff going on. State championship. I don't know. It feels like I'm in a dream, and I just hadn't woke up yet. But uh, kind of a nightmare. So I think I'm awake, and I think we're all here. So uh, thank y'all for being with us. So let's see how our accounts. How's the market doing, y'all? Hadn't even looked at it all day. I had some lunch with some of my friends today. Says we're disconnected. Disconnected. All right. Let's open this thing back up then. Let's see if we can get back in here. Boy, this account is doing good, y'all. Look, we're up already six thousand dollars, and we just started uh, close automatic. We just started trading it on November the eighth, and we're already up six thousand dollars on the year. So, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do here. AMD is up five. 34 and NVIDIA is, or NVIDIA, however you say it, is down 977. We may start the aim. Uh, can y'all not see my thing? What, what do you mean, what source feed am I using? What, what you talking about? My theta looks right. Yours still messed up. All right, let's see if we can get into this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I didn't even look at the market today. Is market up or market down? I would think that the market's up. That is in a damn session, y'all. Hush. All right, kids, get out. Sorry about that, John. I don't know what DX Link C is. All right, so let's look at what the the, uh, the uh, market is doing today. Up 0.32 percent. Wow, on no volume, y'all. Look at this. Volume's only three thousand. Wow. Let's see it on the big green monster. See what this looks like. The expected move for the week is higher, so we kind of got a bullish tint to the week. But we are now within the expected move. The two hundred daily moving average, we are above it, which means we are in a bear in a bullish formation. Let's look at the weekly ten and twenty exponential moving averages. We are above both of those, which means we are in a bullish formation. Everybody sees that. And then the one that we really go by is the 10 month moving average. Now we're above it, but as you'll notice, we haven't got a bar. Well, we did have a bar closed above it here. So this was uh, the September, uh, no, October. So we're in this one now. So we do have a bar above it closed above. So we are in a bullish fashion all the way around. Let's see if we look at our, our linear regression chart just for a second. I don't know what DX links is, y'all. Let's see, DS links. Okay, so we got a jump and a jump. So now look at our linear regression has just about flattened out. I do expect still, though, that we'll have a turnover to the downside at some point. Let's go to the Big Green Monster. Big Green Monster looks like volume profile is fairly priced. We did hit our price target, looks like, on Friday or today, one, Friday, uh, we hit the 4663. So now next target above is going to be way up here. Look at this, y'all. 48.27. Wow. 48.27. We might see a little pullback before then, though, but we've got a target of 48.27 if we stay in this bullish formation. All right. So let's, yeah, isn't that crazy? 4,800. That's the next target up, y'all. I mean, we'll have to jump through the 4,700 to get there, and we will should have a little bit of resistance there, but um, 4,800 looks like it's up and away at some point. All right, so let's see how our accounts are doing today. Let's start with the mega account. Let's see, Mr. Mega Account, where are you? Let me find everything here. Here we go. Here we go. Mega Account. All right, so this is the one we're going to do aim in. So let's go to, uh, let's see, where's, where's the thing in? Oh, we got to change it here. I've got so many accounts here. So Mega, we're at 456. 455, 313, 455, 329, 455, 329. Let's do that. 455, 329. Mega. 455, 329, 455, 329. Fire up the band, Rico, for the love. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
look at us, y'all. We've already made $5,278. We are the stuff of champions. Let's look at our Greeks and ratios. We are at, let me make sure I know which one it's at. Uh, here, I guess. God, it's hard to know which one. Oh, yeah, here we go. So we're at 147, 127. 147, 127. Boy, so much to keep up with. 147, 127. And the VIX is at, let's see what VIX is at 12, a 12 handle. And the buying power usage is, we don't want to count bill, right? So we got to go to positions. And we are at 56, 56, 6, we'll say. All right, that sounds good. 56, 6, 56, 600. Okay, so we're using 12% of our buying power, and we have made 5000 some odd dollars since uh, November the 8th. $5,278. Rack it up, Jack. Now, remember, I did put in a black swan hedge the other day. I'm looking for a good down day or two consecutive days of the VIX being up, and I will sell additional shorts to keep the black swan hedge going. But that is not today. The market is up. Let's go to the Crimson account. Crimson is at here. Crimson is at. 23014. 23014. I know that's a new high. 23014. 23,014. That is weekend decay, my friend. Yes, hallelujah. How does daddy do it in spite of everything? One of my greatest years of being methodical in my trading so we're at 21 28 21 28 that looks good 28 looks good and we are at 12 so uh hmm. buying power usage is measly eight thousand dollars eight thousand dollars so we're using 34 percent of our buying power we're at 0 0.12 here I think everything looks good. Let's see if anything says that we need to close it. It does. So we've got some 40, 50 puts. I thought we closed all those the other day. Maybe I didn't. So maybe we do need to close some of these. Uh, so let's go look and see what we got out there in the naked put land. Naked put land. It's like Disneyland, but a little better. So naked puts. Did I get rid of naked calls? Let's get rid of that. We'll never sell another naked call again. Here we go. We've got T-bills, hedge on demand. We still have something there? God, we do, don't we? A hedge on demand. And uh, let's see, naked puts. So let's see what we got here. With four days to go, we do have those 40, 50 puts. Might as well close them up, y'all. Let's close them. Take risk off the table in case we have some calamity event happen. So we'll take that off at 50 cents. Yeah, baby. Let's go take the other ones off. And remember, this is Tony from Mexico saying, Bobby, if I was you, I'd take them off. And I, I respect Tony a lot, y'all. So I am going to take off what Tony tells me to take off. So let's take off. I thought I took off two of them. Hmm. You had six. Oh, I had six. Okay. Let's take these off. Create closing order. Create closing order. Where's my closing order, for God's sakes? Hold on. Create closing order. Buy two of those at 30 cents. Okay, so we got out of some of them at 40 cents, 50 cents, some of them at 30 cents. Let's go back and see if we got some more. So yeah, how can I trade without y'all, y'all? I mean, I would be lost without y'all. And then we got 40 here, with, or two more with four days left to go. I'm not sure that's all we got with four days left to go. Yeah, let's just take it off. Create closing order. Buy those at 35. I'm gonna try 30 again. All right, now let's go to the So on the spreadsheet, looks like we had two and two. So uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'll do one of these at 50 cents and one of them at 30. I must not have had them all on here. Gosh, I got to do better with my spreadsheet, y'all. So they close them on 12, 11. Someone bring me the fly swatter. They're a bit loud, Beth, and I'm in a class. It's so embarrassing in front of all my friends. Let's see if we may say Applebee's money. Look at that, y'all. $204, $206. Oh, yes. Applebee's money. So now I don't think I'm going to do anything. Let's just leave it. 
let's uh, we'll reevaluate our theta. Uh, the next time we get together, let's just close it. All right, now let's go to the last account, and then we might do an aim thing today. So let's see. <clears throat> let's see. Figure out where it's at. I'm a little bit out of breath. All right, here we go. So this IRA, no, this one. Okay, so this one is 42,000, 41,822, 41,820, 41,822. Let's go 41,822. 41822. Oh, yeah. 41822. Fire up the band, Rico. We're moving on up, moving on up to the east side. Mm -hmm. And over here, we are at uh, 1950. 1950. So let's put that in. 19. In 50. Now, remember, we started buying Bill in this one, too. So I'm going to have to look at just my stuff here. So let's do this one. Yeah, this one only. So this one is got. Let me grab, let's see. Let's see. This will be this one, right? Yeah. Hold on. Let me get off of this one and get onto this one. And then here we go. So now we're only using. 8542 in buying power. 8542. Okay, so we're only using 20% there, y'all. So I think we could do a trade over here. And uh yeah, let's do a trade. So let's make sure we're trading the right account. So this is this account, right? Yep, that we're trading. And we can put on a 112 in the micros. So let's go um uh, trade. Micros table closest to 120. So we got 130 or 100. So let's do 130. So let's do the five delta. 5% 5 probability of being in the money is the 3800s. Let's sell these 3850s. Get us a little more delta. I mean, a little more theta. Two of those. We'll probably go down to 1625 and swing about a batter in. And then we'll go to the 24 delta right here, 24, 25. We'll buy here and we'll sell here. And for $7.95, let's bump it up to eight and get filled. Boom, we are in. Now, now then, let's all take a break and let's see if I can pull up the AIM uh, little calculator here. Let's see if we can figure it out. All right, so file, AIM, Crimson Orchard. Kevin, Abdul, Roth, IRA. Let's see if it's on my machine somewhere. Uh, AIM. TQQ AIM Empire. Yep, see, users, OneDrive, desktop trading. I last modified it on 1124. I think that's it. Let's see if we can open this one up. Now, if you don't know what AIM is, y'all, it's LaCello, uh, Oh, let me sign it. Oh, hey, what, what the crap? Data refreshed. Okay, here. Let me see if I can sign into this one. Sign in required. Okay, so this one is my personal one. Oh, come here, little baby. And then you want to the at yahoo.com. I don't know what my password is. So I'm making sure it's you. Uh, okay, let's see if it's us. Yes, it's us. All right, there we go. So this is it, y'all. So uh, let's see, aim net lick. Let's start up today. Let's say we're starting today in 12, 11, 23. And this account has how much money in it? This one has, hold on, let me find it. This is going to be a little complicated, y'all. I got I to gotta aim these. This is going to be uh, this one. No, that's not that one. That's a four hundred fifty thousand dollar one. Here it is: one hundred four two two six sixty nine. One hundred four two two six sixty nine. One hundred four two two six sixty nine. One hundred four two two six point sixty nine. Okay. Now, what we decided. Let me slow down a little bit here. What we decided in aim is that we're going to use the aim high. What Lucello says is actually we're going to do um, forty percent into AMD, and we're going to do 40% into NVIDIA, 
Okay. So I can buy 300 shares of AMD, 89 shares of NVIDIA. Now, what I could do if I wanted to is I could sell three puts to get in here, but I don't want to be fancy, I don't think. I think I just want to buy it, right? So let's make sure everything is refreshed. Refresh the stock price. There we go. So let's do what it says do, and let's buy. Where's it at? We're going to buy 310 shares of AMD. All right, let's do that. 310 shares of AMD. I don't even know if I know how to buy shares. I'm not sure I'm trading the right account here. AMD is this one. This is the one we want to do. Trade that one. Yeah. Make sure I'm doing the right one. Oh. So let's trade this one. Let's take that one off. There we go. So we're trading the right account. So AMD is trading for 134.38. And we said that we were going to buy how many shares? AMD, 310 shares. God, I ain't bought shares in a long time. How many did I say? 310? So let's buy 310 shares. I'm going to buy 310. Where's my quantity at? Here we go. So let's buy 310 shares of that at 134.36. Let's try it. Boom, baby. So we got in at 134.36. And then we were going to buy NVIDIA. And it told us to buy how much NVIDIA? So we're going to buy 89 shares of NVIDIA, 89, so let's do that. And then I'll show you how to get our AIM spreadsheet set up, 89 NVIDIA, 89. So we're going to buy 89 shares, and let's bump it down to the, wow, well, where's it at? 465, 465.07. Hey, it got me in. There we go. All right, so we are in, baby, in the two stocks. All right, let's look at the activity and put this in the spreadsheet. So working, we got Microsoft field. Hold on, got to redo this, don't we? Seven days. There we go. So we bought AMD at 134.36, 310. All right, y'all remember that. 310, 134.36. So let's do that. 134.36. So then you go to your AIM dashboard. No, we go to AIM activity. It's been a long time since I did this. So we bought AMD. We bought 310 shares. And we did it on the year of our Lord, 12-11-2023 at 124, 134.36. 134.36. 134.36. Beautiful. Cost us $41. Now, is this new capital? Is it withdrawal? Is it rebalancing or do you underline? Well, this is definitely a new underline. So we're going to put yes here. Huh? Okay. Then we did NVIDIA. And we did 89 shares. 12, 11, 23. And we did that at a price of NVIDIA. 465 field at 46501, right? Make sure that's the one we go by, not this one. The price was this, the field was 46501. So 46501 times 89, 46501. Okay. And this is new capital withdrawal, rebalancing, or a new underlying. And the answer is yes. All right. Okay. There we go. We are in, baby. So let's see if all of this is updating over here. Here we go. So it shows us our portfolio value of stock. Our cost basis is 134.36 on AMD. NVIDIA has a cost basis of 465.01. And we have lost $5.92. And the cool thing is, is our cash, our stock value is 83,000 and we've got 21,000 or 20% in cash, 80% in stock. Now, here's what you do on this thing. Now y'all, mine is a little different from what LaCello does because I'm running each one of these as if they were their own little um, AIM program. 
So what we do now is you and I have owned 399 shares. We will not look at this until the first trading day of January. And on the first trading day of January, you and I will make a determination and a decision based on whether this says to buy shares or sell shares. We will buy or sell shares. Okay. So if you have not read the book and you'd like to keep up with us, is how to make a million dollars in the stock market automatically by Robert Lucello. And what we've done is by leaving 20% of our money on the sideline, then we have uh we we we're leaving a little bit there that we can get our cash working for us. So what we could do is $21,000 is there available that we could put in bill, y'all. Could we not? So like if let's see how much bill takes up if we were to buy 100 shares of bill. Let's just go to that real quick. All right. So let's say we're going to bill. We're using, uh, yeah, here we go. So bill, we trade bill, the bid and the ask. We do 100 shares of that. Ta-da! That took us up to 88%. So we could buy another 100 shares, couldn't we? Ta-da! Now that's brought us up to 97%. So now our buying power usage is 101,000. We're at 97%. Uh, no real need to do anything else there uh, because we don't want to go over our buying power. And this is an IRA account. We don't, we can't use margin. Now, could we uh, buy a little more bill in this other account? Looks like we've got enough here. We're only using 64%. So why don't we move down to this one? All right, let's take that off and let's just trade this one and let's buy a little bill here just to give us a little. Oh, man, day orders will be accepted. OK, we won't do that. So we did as much as we could do today. But tomorrow, what I might do is go back into this account and buy me a little more bill since I got some cash there. OK, all right. Excellent session, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see all of y'all tomorrow. Don't forget, read the book, How to Make a Million Dollars in the Stock Market Automatically to know what I'm doing with the AIM account. See y'all.